A Rutgers University football player remains in Hackensack University Medical Center while his teammates and an entire college community wait for word on his prognosis. Eric Legrand, a junior defensive tackle, was injured during this devastating hit in Saturday's game against Army. He now lies in a hospital bed, paralyzed from the neck down. Here's a kid who just wasn't a great football player and is a great football player. He was, he's a great person. Doctors at the hospital won't provide details about Legrand's condition, citing patient confidentiality. Most doctors probably would not suggest someone going back to uh, uh, you know, that kind of contact sport if they had such a severe injury to start with. Rutgers coach Greg Schiano also said he will not give daily medical updates about Legrand, instead releasing this statement, Eric, his family, and the Rutgers football family believe he will recover. We ask our fans in the entire Rutgers community to believe and pray for Eric as he begins the recovery process. Yeah, it's tough to have such a guy that's such a big part of your team emotionally, a guy that was a you know great leader on the team through his actions and also verbally. But you know we know that uh, you know the season goes on and he'd want us to to go out there and play well for him. So that's what we're going to do. Legrand's high school football coach was able to visit with him on Sunday. He says the six foot two lineman is ready to fight. I saw a kid who's going to be all right. He's going to make it. Legrand's injury comes just a couple of weeks after another tough one for Rutgers. Freshman Tyler Clemente committed suicide by jumping off the George Washington Bridge. He killed himself after a sexual encounter with a man in his dormitory room was secretly streamed online. John Belmont, the Associated Press.